everybody welcome back what I'd like to show you today is uh, this very cool combination lock system that I developed like quite a while ago now um, but uh, yeah I think it's worth uploading anyway uh, it works with signal strength and that makes it uh, very compact and quite easy to work with uh, but I'll quickly show you this in action so if we enter the right combination here we should see uh, that this door will open there we go and any button that I press, even the last button, uh, the last digit of the combination, I will close the door again. Um, so it is activated whenever the last four buttons that you pressed equal the combination. So if I uh, enter it again and they do another two like that, that shouldn't make a difference. Um, but that's how most combination locks uh, work in Minecraft at the moment. But uh, you can have up to 15 buttons because that's the maximum limit of signal strength. And over here I have uh, uh, a version with six digits where I have the buttons in a three by three uh, layout like this with a zero on the side. Uh, so if we enter the right combination here, we should see this one open as well. Uh, I mean, this light should just turn on. I haven't connected it to this door or anything. So there you go. Um, and this is all the redstone there is to it. The combination lock logic has a footprint of only 4x6, uh, which is pretty nice, and you can put it directly under your floor just like that, and well, the further it goes down, the more digits you have, of course. So one module is two locks tall, and each module equals one digit, and each uh, digit is stored in these furnaces at the back here. So you just have a different signal strength for each digit. And yes, with furnaces you can't really have uh, redstone in the bottom slot or the side slot here normally, but you can use hoppers instead, or chests, uh, or just a comparator. You could even connect this to a system where you can customize the combination with buttons. So you have a comparator uh, where these furnaces are and you connect that to some uh, RS nor latches with uh, signal strength. So I think it has a lot of benefits in that sense, and also it's just really small and it can, you can slot it just about anywhere. Um, now the buttons I wired up uh, very easily as well. You just have a redstone line running along these buttons. They don't necessarily have to be one space along the redstone line apart, as long as you don't have uh, two buttons that give the same signal strength. Um, and as long as all buttons make it to uh, the input uh, redstone right here. Or this one, of course. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, I think it's really cool. I hope you like it as well. If you want a, to see me show you this door here, which is, by the way, quite nice in my opinion, uh, leave a comment. I will be doing a tutorial on the combination lock because I'm sure you all want a tutorial on that. Uh, but that will be coming out a little bit later than this video. So uh, I hope you liked this combination lock and the video. If you did, uh, make sure to thumbs up the video. And I will see you guys next time.